What's up, Haunters, and welcome to part 4 and 5 of checking out the best Halloween displays. Let's get started. And right there, of course, was Carmino's display. And yeah, most of it is just where you plan to put stuff, but looks like it's gonna be so awesome once you get this all set up for Halloween night. So my favorite little displays you've done is like in that little graveyard section there. That looks like it's gonna be awesome. And the little Pennywise area. And I love how you have Emily and Victor there too that you're gonna put in the window. Those two are so good together and that's gonna look awesome. And it's also really cool. You have a bunch of those Nightmare Before Christmas inflatables all in that little section there. Looks cool. You basically have all of the main characters characters i guess just put together and one last thing it looks like it's also gonna be really cool is in front of your garage there looks like you're putting a bunch of animatronics in a row that looks like it's gonna be so creepy just to have them all just lined up all beside each other and overall it looks like it's gonna be an awesome display i love your animatronic collection looks like you have some awesome ones there looks like you're gonna display them all nice and overall i don't think there's anything too bad about the display it looks like it's gonna be awesome and this one i think i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 just looks like it's gonna be so good anyways let's move on to the next one And there, of course, was a display from your Biggie BSF. And your display here looks awesome. It's another more animatronic display rather than other type stuff. But yeah, you've got some cool stuff going on. I love that first open shot you have of the spider themed air. It looks great with Wanda there and then all the spider webs stretched out. And then you, of course, move on to the other side of the yard, which has a lot of awesome animatronics, especially some cool bigger ones. Like I see that big 12 foot scarecrow guy there and the 12 foot mummy, which I have in. He's an awesome one. And then you've also got some cool, more life-size animatronics for those 12-footers like Frankenstein there and I'll saw you at Nozzles, which is awesome. And yeah, I love how you use the green light in there on the one side, light up some of those animatronics, and then the red light on the other side by the spiders. That's awesome. Overall, pretty good display. Again, with this one, you've got some awesome animatronics. And for this one, I'm going to have to give it a solid 9 of 10. Anyways, great display, and let's check out the next one. And next up here, we've got a submission from Ghost the Host, which your display is pretty cool. I like the one theme you served at the front there where it's like a pumpkin patch farm type theme. You have the massive like corn type themes. I don't exactly know what to call them, but... 
those look awesome. Then the spider web going off of those and then going up towards your house or whatever, that looks awesome too. Then you've also got some nice animatronic spread around there. You've got Night Terror right there in the front, which isn't my most favorite, but he's still decent. And of course, at the back there, looks like you also got some Sunstar guys and of course the man's best friend there on the porch, which is awesome. And then yeah, you've also got some cool just other decorations spread around like in the pumpkin patch area there. And then also by the jumping spider that you have, I like how you have the spider web there, that looks nice. Overall, another awesome display. It looks great. And this one, I think I'm going to have to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Overall, you did a great job. And now, let's move on to the next one. And that right there was D Max production display, and yours is honestly another awesome one. First of all, you show off your graveyard themed area, which looks nice. You have some awesome animatronics there, especially the Beale Juice and Grim. That's awesome. Then also looks like you have a piece from the Spirit Halloween display type of thing, which is also cool. And also that green light you have behind it also just looks nice and just adds to sort of the theme of this area in your haunt, which is nice. And after that, you show a little mini themed area you have, which looks to be a farm type of thing. You got the butcher there. He's so awesome. I haven't seen him in a while. And of course, Little Jack Carver, which is such a good jump scare. And then at the end, you show your final themed area, which is a clown sort of thing. And that looks cool. Like those four guys you have lined up there. Those are awesome. Then on the other side, you have the two killer clowns with the popcorn machine in between them. That's cool that you have both of them there. And then I like how the popcorn machine just also adds to sort of the clown vibe of the area. Overall, an awesome display. Seems to be well decorated and everything. And this display, I think I'll have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Overall, you did a great job. And anyways, let's move on to the next one. And that display right there was sent in by CJ the Haunter, and this display is awesome. I see you've got quite a few inflatables, which I always love a good inflatable display. On the left side of your yard there, it looks like you got some creepy stuff. I especially love that spider there. I bought something very similar to it the other day, and it's just such a cool inflatable. It's got that boo one at the back, which is cool. I haven't seen that one before. And of course, a spooky ghost over in the corner. And then you go to show your porch, which looks nice. I love all the purple lights on it, and then that little skeleton there holding the pumpkin is also cool. And then finally, towards the end of your video, you go to show off your graveyard section, which also looks awesome. I like that tombstone inflatable you have at the back with all different tombstones, that looks nice. Then also you have the Levitan Hovering Reaper type guy up there, which honestly, one of the best 12-footers. That's so cool that you have him. And overall, this part of your yard also looks good. It's also lit up really nicely. Overall, some epic stuff going on at your house looks like, and this display thing I'd have to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Overall, you did a great job, you've got some great stuff, and yeah, overall, awesome display. Let's move on to the next one.
And next up here, we've got a display from GMD Haunts and your display here looks really cool. I love what you did with having the walkthrough thing in your backyard. It looks great sort of the way you set it up because first of all, you walk through the couple of hallways with a bunch of creepy animatronics in them there. You have like a farm looking theme at the start and that sort of transitions into this clown theme, which is awesome. And then yeah, for the clown theme, you have so many awesome clowns there. It feels like you have basically every single one that Spirit has ever made, it seems. And overall, I love some of the light and stuff you did. It overall looks very well decorated, your haunt. And yeah, just so many awesome props all over the place. I love it. And for this display, I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. I think it's honestly one of the best displays I've seen so far in this series. Overall, looks awesome. And I can't wait to see a video of your display from this year since I saw this was your display from last year. Anyways, let's move on to the next display. And right there, we've got a display from Pipoween, and your display here looks awesome. Not only did you decorate all really nice, but you also have some more rare older animatronics, which is so cool to see. So my favorite more classic animatronics I see there in your display is like the Reaper of Souls. He's an awesome Reaper, one of my favorites and one I would love to have. And also looks like you got Spasm back there, which that guy is so cool to see. I have not been able to see him in person yet, but he just looks so creepy. And then some other things I like about your display, I like how you divide it up. So you have the graveyard on the one side, and then the pumpkin patch farm type theme on the other side. That's nice. And then also love that you have a bunch of just other props and decorations in between all the animatronics, fill the empty gaps. It looks very well decorated, and that's awesome. It looks like you also have some pretty good lighting around, which is also a good thing. Overall, an awesome display. Looks like you did a great job at setting up and decorating everything. And for this display, I'm going to have to give it a solid 10 out of 10. This one, just another great one. You did a lot of great stuff for it. And yeah, looks like it turned out really awesome. And anyways, now let's get into the last display of the video.
And right there, of course, was Alexander's Toy Funds display. And your display here is another good one. Looks like you have a nice little walkthrough there at the start, and then also a clown theme, which is awesome. Looks like you have some awesome animatronics, like lots of ones you have spread out around there, especially in the clown room there. You have some awesome clown theme guys or just circus themed ones in general. And it also looks like you have some other nice decorations they also have to decorate in between some of your animatronics there, which is also nice to see. It seems like you're still working on setting up your own else a bit, but anyways, for now, it looks pretty good. And for this display, I'm going to have to give it a solid 8 out of 10. Overall, it looks like you're doing a really good job at setting up and everything, and overall, just another awesome display. Anyways, with all that said, everyone, that is it for today's video. Today was, of course, part 4 and 5 of checking out all these awesome displays you sent in. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be accepting any more submissions for this series. I've already filled up all 48 slots I had available, but I will have a submission opening in a few weeks for my Christmas display series, so stay tuned for that. And for all the other videos in this series, they're all going to be delayed. Episode 6 and 7 in this series were supposed to happen over the next week before Halloween. But I will, of course, be delaying those till November 1st. I'll film a video, so don't worry. Those videos are still coming, but I'm just going to wait till after Halloween to get caught up on them. Anyways, hopefully you all did enjoy. Check out these eight awesome displays. And of course, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.